left, center, right. All covered. And this is the base station, the center one. And we got a 150 foot outdoor rated cable running all alongside there back to the modem. There are the POE switches and the cable that runs out to them. Run across here. This is the first building with the main outdoor access point on the other side. Have an access point right there. All the way down here, approximately 75 feet. 150 foot cable ran for this. There's the access point. Hope you can see it well. And if we go in, another 25 feet or so. The wireless one connected. Plugged into a POE. Got one more for a dead spot. One there. One there. One there. So that's three for the left hand side. Inside, it just run on, alongside here. And again, about 75 to 100 feet, 150 foot worth of outdoor cable. And it runs up to the Unifier outdoor access point there. And then we have two mimicked in the same location. On this side here and here. When it's solid green, it means it's connected just fine. If it's blinking green, it's, it's trying to connect. It's provisioning. And obviously, if it's red or orange, it's disconnected. And then the last one on the right is there. So that's the right hand side. Access point. The network currently has 17 users connected. We're on a Unify controller, the modem, one D Link router, and battery backup. All of these shows right here what's connected to what. As you can see, Outdoor runs to the two here on the right hand side. Outdoor runs to the two on the left hand side. The middle one just controls the middle. The orange and purple basically just shows the coverage area, which is actually larger than that. And the details, if you click on details, you can see MAC address and so forth and so on. Running on Windows XP machine. Click on statistics and it shows you the most active client access point, which would be the outdoor run on the right hand side, and the person that's using the most data right there. And we can monitor how many users there is right here. A total of 19. Guess that is. You can click on guess and see all their information. Title, how much they use. To click on the upload here and click and see and it shows the ones that's using the most you can block them unauthorized so if i close this or if i go down to settings more importantly it shows the system features so if i'm going to go back to settings this is guest control this is where you put the password in, right here in guest portal. So again, you go to settings, guest control, and you put, put in your password. So if you want to make your password 
lightning. We just put in lightning. Got it set for 28 days. User defined. And shows us the restricted subnets there, which you can't use. Don't need to pay that in mind. Go back to settings. And we can see the actual wireless that's being broadcast. And we have you have to have the guest policy. Um, loud on the connect, click apply there, and that's pretty much it. And we have to use the group wizard lenses, of course. And this will show block devices, which currently we are not blocking any. And this is the limit. So if you go in here to settings, users group and routers, renters, I'm, I'm sorry, and the, we have it set to 25 meg for the uh, fastest download and 2 meg for the fastest upload. So you put them in by kilobytes, kilobits per second. So, and this is admin settings for password and so forth and so on. And this is recent events shows when one was a plug or when another guest was um, roamed. One, one access point to another and remain connected. And total access points up here, seven. Click on it, it brings down. Shows you how many. covers it. It's just a Windows XP laptop and a unified controller. Okay. And this is what it's going to bring you up to. And all you have to do is check here for accept terms and condition. You can click on the terms and see. You can adjust them, the terms, suit your needs. And you can also add a home page. And then all we do is type in a password. And connect. Our speed test from sitting in the car. As you see, we have 20 bars. All but one. So this would be worst case scenario, someone sitting out in their car and they want to get on the internet, obviously they can. And that one there. And this other speeds. And keep in mind again, this is literally from access point that's over 50 feet, somewhere around 50 feet away. It's still going great.